The third component of happiness is peace. Where there's no peace, there's no happiness. But how can we have peace in this turbulent world? In this short video, I will share with you a story that teaches the wisdom of how to grasp peace. By the way, I'm Sam Stone, the pastor at Trinity Presbyterian Church of Paramus, New Jersey. I'm a spiritual gardener that helps people cultivate a fruitful living, which is a life of happiness. I'm sure happiness is important for you. The fact is you can really live a life of true happiness day in and day out if you take care of the core issue that is your spirituality. And that is the purpose of these videos. There's a Chinese fable about a man who is followed by a tiger. He runs for his life as fast as he could, but he ended up at the edge of a cliff. Because he suddenly stops, the tiger got confused and stops. But the man knows that the tiger is positioning itself getting ready to pounce on him. So he looks around and finds a vine growing along the edge of the cliff all the way to the bottom of the cliff. He grabs the vine and slides down the cliff, but by the time when he gets to the middle of the cliff, he saw another tiger waiting for him at the bottom of the cliff. At first he thought it was the same tiger, but he looks up and he sees the previous tiger still roaming about at the top. But all of a sudden, he sees two mice, one black and one white, right above him, chewing on the vine. He tries to shoo them away, but they ignore him. Then he looks around, trying to find something that he could use to get rid of those mice. But his eyes land on a strawberry that grows right where he could reach. Yummy, juicy, red, sun-ripe, tasty-looking strawberry. Then he looks up and he looks down and then he looks at the mice, up, down, mice. After several minutes of looking up, down and at the mice, he closes his eyes. Then he reaches out and unplugged the strawberry and started eating as if time has stopped and everything is peaceful. You know what? This is a story of my life and your life. The vine represents our lifeline. The tiger up there represents our past. The tiger down there represents our future. The white and black mice represents day and night that is eating away our lifeline. If you look at life as it is, there's no peace at all because for most of us, our peace is taken away by the regret for, for the, the mistakes we made in the past and or for the fear of the unknown future. It's like living between the two tigers. But the truth is we cannot change the past nor control the future. Sometimes we want to stop the time from passing by because our days eat away our lifeline like those mice chewing on the vine that we hold onto. But we have no control of the flow of the time at all. But at each moment, we are surrounded by God's blessing that comes to us like that juicy strawberry in the desert. Here's the tip. God wants you to enjoy every moment of your life. The Bible says, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Notice it says always, not sometimes. That word was translated from the Greek word that means every moment. So forgive the past. Don't worry about the future, but pray about everything with the attitude of gratitude. And it says the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. When your hearts and minds are guarded by the peace of God, you can enjoy life at every moment. If you want to get more out of the spiritual teachings like this, you're welcome to join us on Sunday morning, 10 o'clock at Trinity Church, because you will be spiritually charged every week by being with us. Please post your questions and comments below or email me at sam at trinityfamily.org. If this message is helpful for you, please share with others so that they can also become happy people because God is glorified when we are gratified. Until we meet again, keep cultivating a fruitful living. Remember at Trinity, the good news is getting better and better.